The President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. We would like now to hand over to counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia to pose questions to the witness. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, and good morning to uh, everyone in and around the courtroom, and especially good morning to you, uh, Mr. Kim Voon. Before I uh, start, Mr. President, uh, a slight point of, uh, uh, of clarification. The defense teams had been given a total of 0.75 uh, days. Am I correct in understanding that the defense teams as a whole will have until 12 o'clock today to question this, this witness? That, that would be the basis on which I proceed. Uh, my colleague, Mr. Carnavas, will not have more than uh, 30 minutes of questioning by myself. I also intend to use no more than 30 minutes of questioning. Bah. The President, you may proceed. Le Président, allez-y. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. La Défense, Mr. Kim Foon, thank you for uh, being with us uh, these days. I understand uh, it is not uh, easy for you. Uh, and I, uh, as I announced, I assume that we will be uh, finishing your questioning this morning. Comme je viens de le dire, je I will be speaking slowly. Uh, for the benefit of my French colleagues, but also for the benefit of the uh, translators. And I would first like to ask some follow-up questions on uh, some of the things you have told uh, the prosecution yesterday. Mr. Kim Woon, you ha have earlier testified that uh, at a certain moment, Yun Yat controlled uh, both the Ministry of Propaganda and Education and the Ministry of Education. Do you remember, uh, Mr. Kim Woon, around which year Yun Yat started to control these two ministries? Response. I do not remember precisely, but uh, she pas could have been un uh, controlling this uh, institution between 1977 and 1978. Or 1977. And to your knowledge, Mr. Kim Woon, did Yun Yat stay in charge Monsieur of Kim these Woon. two ministries? until the Vietnamese arrived in January 1979? Jusqu'à l'arrivée des Vietnamiens en janvier 1979? Response. Yes, Réponse. she did. She stayed in charge oui, until en then. Effet, Mr. Woon, we have talked about uh, your transfer to the Kampuchea Chrome radio station. De votre mutation the prosecution has asked some questions uh, on this topic already. But do you remember when you were transferred to head this radio station? Response. Réponse. It was in 1978, so far as I recollect. 1978, in your statement Question. before the co-investigating judges, Dans votre déclaration um, devant les you stated, and I quote from document E3 slash 381, and uh, the English ERN is 00365526, uh, Khmer ERN is 00357203, and French ERN is 00402996. And on uh, 
page with ERN number 0036528. And that has the Khmer ERN number 0035725. You state, and I quote, after my wife was arrested in late 1977, they transferred me to work as the chairman of the Kampuchea Prom radio program back under the Ministry of Propaganda and Education. You just told us that you think that you were uh, transferred to become the head of uh, the radio station in 1978. And in this statement before the co-investigating judges, uh, you state that it happened in after your wife uh, was arrested in late 1977. It is, of course, possible that it was 1978, considering the answer that you gave to the co-investigating judges. But could you clarify for us today whether or not um, you indeed transferred in 1978, or could it possibly have been uh, late 1977? cela a-t-il pu se passer à la fin de 1977 Response. Réponse. Allow me to clarify that uh, when I was first transferred, I did not uh, hold any position as yet. Au début, but je by 1978, the programs were created and I was installed as the chairman of the Kampuchea Kram radio program. Before that, uh, there was no clear distinction uh, concerning the programs. In, in late 1977, I was transferred there, but I did not have any position clearly, and I had to write programs but later on, only when in 1978 that I became the chairman of the radio program. Thank you for that answer. You have also stated that this um, Kampuchea Krum radio station uh, fell under the responsibility of the Ministry of Propaganda and Education. Is, is that correct? Response. Yes, it is. Yesterday, when uh, the OCP asked you a few questions on uh, the Cambodia Krom radio station. Um, the following was said. It is on page 37 of the English draft transcript, and it's on page 30 of the Khmer draft transcript. And I quote first the question by the prosecutor. When you were the chairman of that program, were you working in one of the ministries in Phnom Penh or elsewhere? And you answered, I worked all along in the propaganda ministry. The difference is that I worked in different section of the ministry. End of your answer. My question to you, Mr. Kim Woon, is Voici donc when you question. went to work at the Kampuchea Krom radio station, did you actually move to a different location, either to a different building or to a different uh, part of the same building that you were working in before? Ou dans une autre partie du même bâtiment qu'auparavant. Response. First, Réponse. as indicated, I had Comme je to indiqué, be attached to both sides, and there début, was no clear distinction of my duty. I had to perform my task for both uh, functions. Repartis. But in 1978, uh, our offices were split. 
mes responsabilités dans ces deux the radio program were the common on joint program we had to broadcast English and Vietnamese language programs and Uh, also, the Kampuchea Kram programs uh, were part Les of the du Kram daily programs, and we had a separate section after all. Et à ce moment-là, nous avions un service uh, séparé. And just so I understand your answer Question correctly, correct. you say that uh, your offices were split. Vous avez dit que Did le that mean that partagé. there was actual, actually a physical relocation of a certain number, number of people to a different building? Dans un autre Response, yes, it Réponse, is correct. Oui, c'est exact. And when you were Question. working In that building, you were spending less time, by force of logic, in the original Ministry of Propaganda. Is that a fair assumption? Au sein du ministère de la propagande, est-ce que on peut response? Yes, it is. Déduire ainsi. Réponse. Oui. Moving on to a uh, next topic, Question. Mr. Kim Woon. You were asked yesterday uh, by the pros prosecutor Hier, about the role of Nguyen Chia uh, at the propaganda Nguyen office. Au de la And propaganda. I will quote again from the transcript. It is page 36 of the English transcript. And it's page 29 of the Khmer transcript. Khmer. And I will first quote the question by the prosecutor. La du you also stated in your previous interviews si that there was a time when Nguyen Chia was in charge of the propaganda office. Is that correct? And you answer, as a matter of fact, vous, the leadership répondu, role was cite, not his task. En fait, uh, le uh, role de Mr. dirigeant ne relevait pas de ses fonctions. Kim do you stand by that statement today that um, the leadership Kim role que vous at the Ministry of Propaganda was not Nguyen Chia's task? Nguyen Chia n'était pas chargé de diriger le ministère de la propagande. Response. And that uh, only when Mrs. Yon Yat was present that he would come and replace her. And with regard to the agriculture programs, he would be the one who was in charge. I will uh, later ask you a few more questions about uh, the agricultural programs. I first want to ask you uh, a different question. I just read out to you the question that was posed to you by the prosecution. And I will read out the question once more so you understand Je what I'm talking relire, about. The question by the prosecution was, la, la you also stated in your previous interviews that there was a time when Nguyen Chia was in charge of the propaganda office. Is that correct? End of quote. This was the question that was put to you by the prosecution. Mr. Kim Woon, my question to you today is the following. Monsieur Kim Woon, voici ma question Did you ever tell investigators of the OCIJ that Nguyen Chia was in charge of the propaganda office? Response, I used to say that, but I was saying that uh, he came only to je replace Yun Yan when she was absent. Je disais qu'il venait simplement 
pour remplacer Yunyat en son absence. And do you remember what you told the investigators about the role of Nunchia at the propaganda office when he was there? Lorsqu'il y était présent. Response. Réponse. I do not remember what he did uh, before that, but uh, Mr. Nuntia did not work at the ministry on a permanent basis, and no other ministers would be assigned uh, permanently for the position other than Mrs. Yon Yat. So when Yon Yat was not present, and Nuntia would be taking her position. Mr. Kim Woon, did you Question. tell the investigators Monsieur of Kim the OCIJ that Nguyen Chia was BCG mainly involved in education and that this education related mostly to agriculture? Dans education, notamment concerning agriculture. Response. The new education programs were about agriculture. It is correct. Yesterday, Question. when you were questioned by Hier, Judge Lavergne, uh, you spoke about the agriculture Lavergne, programs. Vous avez parlé des or about the education programs at first. And I would like to quote from the transcript, uh, yesterday's transcript. It's page 69 in English and page 55 in Khmer. Judge Lavergne asked you, um, this morning you told us that Nunchia only came on an intermittent basis. So can you tell us a bit more about what Nunchia was doing at the Ministry of Propaganda and Education? And your answer was, actually, Mr. Nunchia had a role in the education program. The education program was on agriculture. A bit further down, Judge Lavergne asked you, and I quote, uh, did he replace Mrs. Yunyat or, or did he simply come to assist her, let's say? And your answer was, his fundamental program was the new education on agriculture, and I have no other knowledge of his involvement in other section in writing, in particular because I had been transferred to the Kampuchea from radio section when Mr. Nunchia was assigned to the propaganda department. And of quote. So yesterday you told us that um, Nunchia's fundamental program was the new education on agriculture and that you have no other knowledge of his involvement in other uh, matters, uh, in particular because I had been transferred to the Kampuchea Krom radio section. Mr. Kim Woon, my question today is, is it a fair uh, assumption on my part that you Indeed, did not know Donc, about the other tasks of Mr. Nunchia because you had been transferred to a different building where you spent a lot of time. Response. Yes, it is correct to say so. Effectivement, on peut dire cela. So. Question. Mr. Kim Woon, Monsieur you Kim have Woon. stated yesterday yeah. when you were questioned by uh, Judge Lavergne, Lavergne that Mr. Nunchia 
who was involved in the education section relating to agriculture. You spoke a little bit about what you remember about this agriculture program, but in English, it, the English uh, transcript is not entirely clear if you compare it to the Khmer transcript. For the benefit of all the parties, could you tell us a bit more about the particulars of this agriculture program that Nunchia was involved in. Actually, the Réponse. agricultural education was La formation dans le domaine uh, de l'agriculture. disseminated uh, with the training um, manual and se faisait par une diffusion d'un manuel so there was a copies of uh, documents des documents and uh, that was recorded before donc uh, it was uh, broadcast exemplaires. il y avait un enregistrement et puis une radio diffusion and the source of the document was uh, taken from the rice experiment Les or research uh, center based in Batambang. There was uh, a Chinese uh, expert who uh, prepared uh, this uh, training manual and information booklet for uh, the agricultural program. program Mr. Kim Foon. Question. In your statement uh, before the OCIJ, you do not seem to mention le the fact that Vous the education pas dit by Nguyen Chia focused que les on de agriculture. Par Chia sur In fact, the entire word en fait, agriculture is not mentioned in your statement. The statement that you signed and that you stand by. Que vous avez signé et dont vous Do you know why la the fact that the education by Nguyen Chia focused on agriculture de is not mentioned par in Nguyen Chia sur the statements pas that we have dans les of you by the co-investigating judges? que vous avez faites et qui ont été recueillies par le BCJ. I do not recall it. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. They did not ask me about that, so I did not uh, pas de uh, answer to that effect. Et donc, je pas fait but de later on, they asked us about education suite, in general, education program. And at that time, we also had a program générale. focusing on agricultural education. Un sur la formation dans le de the investigator at that time did not... Uh, Dwelf on les the agricultural education or the issue as such. They only de asked me about the role of Mr. Nunchia in relation to the Ministry of uh, Propaganda. De la and then I uh, responded uh, that uh, the task of uh, propaganda was part of his education uh, too. And just to be clear, it is simply to avoid confusion. Do you remember whether or not you mentioned agriculture in your testimony before the co-investigating judges? Vous avez été entendu par le BCJ. I do not Réponse. really recall 
that I did not Je know pas bien. when you are referring to which which interview Et you are referring to. Je ne sais pas à vous faites allusion. Uh, I apologize if it's unclear. I'll try, try to make it Mes excuses, si je more simple. Pas suffisamment clair. Je vais simplifier. Do you remember whether or not you vous told the investigators si that aux UNGA's involvement in education vous avez dit que related to de agriculture dans le domaine de la formation portait sur l'agriculture? As far as the Réponse. interviews with the court staff, I did mention about agriculture because uh, they asked tribunal, me uh, Mr. Nguyen's involvement with the Ministry of Propaganda, and I told them that uh, he went there because uh, there was a new education program relating to agriculture. De formation portant sur la Thank you, uh, Mr. Kim Woon. Question. I Monsieur Kim Woon. Merci. have no further questions. Je plus de questions For the record, I, noticed, I note that indeed the word agriculture does not appear in your statements before the OCIJ. We will be asking for a transcription of uh, your interview PV with the investigators. Nous allons for today, I thank you very much for coming de votre uh, again. Par it le BCJI, uh, merci d'être venu and, uh, ici. Ça va être Nunchia difficile au nom de la défense well, de Nunchia. Je vous adresse mes meilleurs voeux. The President, thank you. I now hand over to the defense team for Mr. Nun, uh, Mr. Ying Sari. La parole est à la uh, défense de Ying Sari. To put the questions to the witness, you may proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. Good, good morning, morning to everyone in, in the around the courtroom. And good morning, good morning uh, sir. Bonjour, My name is Michael Carnavas. And Michael Carnavas. With, uh, Mr. Angudom, we represent Mr. Angudom. Mr. I have very few questions, mostly for clarification purposes. It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Je ne devrais pas en avoir pour plus de 15 minutes. Uh, my first question relates question, to your second statement elle concerne uh, that you gave on 28 July 2009. And I will be referring to document, document E3 slash 381, page 4 in English. The Khmer ERN number is 00. 00. 035-72-06-07. The French is 00-40-29-98-999. In English, it's 00-36-52-29-98. Now, in your statement, a question is posed to you, and this is where I need some clarification. You're asked, you have said that leaflets have been dropped before Sao Pim was arrested. Where were the leaflets published? And then you give your answer. Now we've listened to the interview that you gave. It's 40 L'audition, it's uh, 48 minutes, 31 seconds long, minute, ou plutôt, of a two-hour interview, according to the summary provided by the investigators. 40 minutes, 31 seconds, we don't know what heures, le was said Nous ne during the missing unrecorded period. Pendant les but nowhere in the tape do you previously mention leaflets. May I ask, enregistré, mais dans les enregistrements, vous ne parlez pas when did you mention the tracts. leaflets for the first time à quel moment vous parlé pour la première fois to the investigators that came to speak with aux you? Enquêteurs. It has been a long time. I cannot Réponse. recall 
C'était il y a longtemps. But to my je ne me souviens pas du tout, mais d'après mes souvenirs, j'ai parlé de tracts. But uh, precisely when I do not recall. Mais je ne sais plus bien quand. Uh, thank you very much. Well, now, if we look at Merci. your other statement, which is E3 E3 slash 380, we see that that statement began Ici, at 8.30, 8.50 in the morning, it ended at 2.30 in the afternoon, 50, so it took approximately 5 hours and 40 minutes, donc yet 5 the audio minutes. recording for that interview Or, is 2 hours, hours and 47 minutes and 22 minutes. seconds long. Et 22 secondes. May I ask, in the two statements that you gave, dans les deux were conversations que held vous avez faites, with the investigators, where they asked you questions, que les you provided answers, vous ont posé des questions before actually being tape recorded with vous questions a posé and des questions answers? Est-ce que vous avez donné des réponses avant que les questions et réponses ne soient effectivement enregistrées? I did not réponse. understand uh, how they arranged the recording at that time. I ont paid enregistré. attention to only the question asked, Je me suis and I, sur les I only merely responded to the questions, but asked for répondu. the recordings Mais or ce de the preparation of the uh, records of that interview. I did not pay particular attention to it. Uh, thank you. Particulière. Well, let me ask you, since you began Question. at 8.50 in the morning and it ended at 12.30, et ça a terminé, and nothing in what we have here in the statement, which is E3 slash notes that there was a break Or, dans le document okay, break. E3 bar 300 during the questioning session, did the, the questioning actually begin que when they first met you and ended at 2.30 in the afternoon as vous ont is noted in the rencontré pour la première fois, est-ce que ça a pris fin à 2h30, comme c'est indiqué summary? dans le résumé That I am not clear. Réponse. Je ne sais pas I did bien. not really understand the recording procedures as well as the record keeping procedures. Well, one final question on this. Question. Did at any point Dernière they question tell you now we're going to start recording? Les enquêteurs vous ont dit maintenant nous allons commencer à enregistrer. That everything was being recorded vous avez from the moment that you met them. A été enregistré depuis you recall, le moment où les enquêteurs se sont présentés à vous. Est-ce que vous en souvenez? That could have réponse. been the case, but I do not understand the uh, technical particularity of uh, uh, that uh, procedure. Technique. I only responded to the questions. Question and, and one final question about question. both interviews. Question sur les During the interviews, did they share with you documents vous for you to look at des documents and for you to refresh your memory, if you recall? At the time, uh, they, they could have uh, given me a document, but the interview uh, took a rather long time, so I uh, did not uh, comprehend all the uh, documents. I only recall some of the names of individuals who worked uh, at the uh, de tous les Department of Propaganda, and one of my colleagues was not a cadre, uh, she was only an ordinary staff member, but I failed to uh, make that rectification on the record because the interview took rather long, so I was uh, too exhausted at that time to bother to uh, rectify it. Pour, uh, and one final question on this issue, just a follow-up. 
dans le prolongement de ceci. When you indicated that you did not remember, did at that point do you recall whether they showed you doc documents to see whether that would assist your memory of the events? Est-ce qu'à ce moment-là, on vous a donné un document pour vous rafraîchir la mémoire? Generally, they uh, offer me a copy, but I did not go through uh, that document thoroughly and once. I did not examine it uh, thoroughly. Uh, thank you. Now, let me move to my last topic. It should be very brief. Uh, you were questioned when you first came by the president concerning président, whether it was two début, interviews or three interviews, and I, wanna, I want some clarification si on that, uh, because we do have two statements, Il y a deux PV but auditions. on page oh, in Khmer right. it would be 34 à to 35, 34 et à la page English it would be 40 to 41. Khmer, in French, it would be 45 to 47 of the transcript of the 21st of August. You said, I had given three interviews. However, there were only two official document recording documents recording these interviews. And then further down, you do say that Ensuite, on the third occasion, I was attending a workshop on planning and development, and the investigators could not wait for me, and they had to come back to do or to perform other tasks instead. So I just want to make sure that, I under, that we all understand. Was it that you met with them three times, but only twice you were interviewed? Mais or you actually interviewed three times, but only twice recorded. Ou bien vous avez entendu, vous avez entendu trois fois, mais il y a eu seulement deux fois un enregistrement. As I uh, said uh, earlier on, there were uh, three interviews dit, undertaken, il y a eu trois but uh, only two were recorded with a document. Right. Well, let me th let me ask you then que to clarify a point on the third interview. Did they ask you questions audition. and did you provide answers on that third interview, réponses, which was not tape recorded and for which we do not have a statement, a summary? Qui pas été sur if you recollect, raison pour laquelle il n'y a pas de PV d'audition. In the third interview, uh, to be honest, réponse. there was some controversy La troisième in fois, it because I was very busy at the time, and so the investigator went uh, there to meet me. So incident. I had to uh, design between uh, my personal work uh, with, and the trouver, work of the ECCC. I know that these two uh, things were important. I asked uh, them to wait uh, for me, but since uh, the investigator were less impatient, uh, uh, patient, they uh, could not wait for me. So the investigators from the office of uh, OCIJ, uh, one of whom was a foreigner, he might have been upset with me. We did not get uh, along well with each other in the last interview. He uh, contempted me, uh, threatening to bring me audition. using public force to bring me to Phnom Penh. Uh, I think that uh, that was his uh, uh, technical uh, things or so, and I told him that how could you use public force to arrest me or to force me to come because I did not commit any crimes, I did not do anything wrong. So at that time, uh, that was the controversy, but I did not know the particular nationality of that for foreign investigator. I was not afraid. I, I was not afraid of anything anything because I did not do anything wrong because I did not believe that there was any ground for my arrest or so. But then he uh, composed himself saying Ensuite, that he was just joking. Uh, but I was rather serious because I think Moi, that the work pas. of the court was not something Il to be taken lightly. Uh, that could have been that reason. That's why uh, I uh, did not affix Et my thumbprint to that uh, record. 
I did not know uh, who was who actually among those investigators, but I only noticed that he was a foreigner, and I did not even notice uh, which teams uh, he came from either, but it was the, the third uh, interviews I had and I told uh, them that uh, I had already given the previous two uh, interviews, so my letter respond would not differ uh, anything from the previous two interviews. It would be likely to be the same. Thank you very much. Now, I just Merci need beaucoup. a couple of more points of clarification in light of what you just told us. When the, the foreign, the international, Investigator for the core investigative judge uh, office was threatening you. Was that during the second interview or the third interview? Du du entretien? It was in the third uh, interview, and uh, he was not the uh, previous investigator who conducted interview Il with me. Okay, thank you. Aux auditions précédentes. And did the previous, Question, inter did you get along with the previous interview? Vous êtes bien entendu the previous international avec investigator? Because now I'm a little confused. Avec l'enquêteur étranger précédent, car là je ne suis pas sûr de bien suivre. Réponse. I did not have any problem with the previous investigators. He Avec was rather polite, courteous, il a pas eu de problème. And, Ils but I remember that uh, he was of uh, black nation nationality. Uh, he que un noir. I did not know his uh, particular nationality, Je but I got along well with, uh, with him. Le but bien passé uh, avec lui. letter investigator, I did not know what his nationality suivant, was, but I did not really uh, get était, along well with him. Mais je ne me suis pas bien okay, thank you. Lui. Now, on the third interview, Question. I know you've told Lors us about this exchange, entretien. Je sais que vous avez parlé but de cet échange, did you answer any questions at that time, or did the meeting que vous avez never really, the questioning never took place? Because you were busy, au motif and, que vous étiez and occupé, uh, they had to go et their way. At that time, I was Réponse. very busy. À très occupé. Actually, it was not on the working day. En fait, uh, I asked him whether or not he could come on Saturday or Sunday. Jour, he said no. I'm merely asking a simple question. Did they ask you any questions? And did you give them any answers on the substance? Not whether you could be questioned or not, but did you ever answer any questions? In other words, did they interview you at all? Autrement dit, y a-t-il eu une audition à proprement parler? Réponse. Actually, there was uh, a record en fait, of uh, in the, there was a, um, a record of interview, but uh, at that time I told them to wait until uh, 12 or so, but they could not wait, uh, so they left. Mais ils pas pu okay, thank parti. you. Now, finally, I want to, Question. in keeping with this third interview, Concernant I want to get your comment entretien. on this document, Je D243-4, stated par 13 4, January uh, 2010. It's an order Il from the, um, the international investigative judge, Judge Marcel Le Monde, du d'instruction internationale Marcel Le Monde. On the last page, in English, page, which is four, Khmer is 00439922, French, 00048528281, and in English, 00429022. Two, two. Judge Lamont says the following. Le juge, le monde, this is in paragraph 11, suit, le the last uh, part of it. In October 
2009, Kim Vun was approached by the CIJ in order to conduct a third interview to canvas the very issues raised in the co-prosecutor's request. However, despite the previous two interviews, the witness at this stage became wholly uncooperative and refused to be interviewed further, and thus the interview was not able to be conducted. Here you're being characterized il est on that third interview ici, as being vous, uncooperative and refusing position, vous pas voulu coopérer et to answer your questions, de to be questions interviewed. Et Is that, does that uh, correspond with your memory of the events as you experienced them and as you have already described them to us? Actually, the incident was as what I described. I think that if he, they adopted a proper uh, conduct, I would uh, be happy uh, to work with them. Uh, but I found uh, them were rather rude. Uh, and if uh, they found me uncooperative, I strongly uh, deny that. Of course, we cooperate Eux with the public uh, organization or uh, the cela. court. Uh, but uh, uh, he did not even have the patience to wait for me, I, even if I told them that I was busy. Alors même que je leur and dit que I know that... Uh, in the court, there was a mixed composition of tribunal, uh, national and international staff, and I did tell you, investigator, that if the international investigator could not wait, then at least the Cambodian investigator be there uh, to si take uh, the statement, because uh, they uh, could uh, do the job rather than simply listening to uh, his uh, counterpart. Plutôt and I think that this was a unsubstantiated uh, allegation against me that I was uh, uncooperative. I have no authority whatever to go against the court. The court was established by the law. But uh, that was because he was unhappy uh, with me. And I do not, uh, I do not uh, accept uh, this observation about my uh, cooperation with them. I know that uh, he must have been uh, upset with me. That was because of his um, immoral words. Uh, as you have just described, that's why uh, we uh, failed to uh, uh, cooperate with him. I simply asked him to wait. Uh, he could not even wait for me. President, uh, that's uh, enough, and that was the uh, working procedure in the Office of Co-Investigating Judges. And once the closing order was done, uh, that was uh, complete in that phase. So uh, we do not need to dwell on this. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I was merely pointing out some of the problems, again, with this particular witness and the summaries. Uh, sir, I have no further questions. On behalf of Mr. Ingsri, Mr. Anwar Dom and I would like to thank you for coming here to give your evidence, and we wish you safe travels and the best of luck. Thank you. Present ici, bon voyage et bon courage. Merci. The President. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Gumbun. Your testimony Merci, has come to a conclusion, Nous and uh, you are now excused. Vous êtes donc libre de you may feel free to go back home. The Chamber would like to express our great thing to you for giving up so much of your time and travel all the way from your place vous to give testimony before the temps, chamber. You have been very patient and we really appreciate that. Your testimony 
will contribute to the ascertaining of the truth before the chamber. We wish you good luck and all the best and safe travel back home. Bon Court officer is now instructed Vici to assist Mr. Kumwon with uh, coordination with the Wesu unit so that Mr. Kumwon can be returned home safe and sound. You may go now. Thank you lui. very much indeed. Next, we would like uh, to proceed to listen Ensuite, or to hear the testimony of, with, uh, rather of uh, TC la CP28 before we adjourn for lunch. Court officer is instructed to bring in the civil party TCCP 28 to the courtroom, please. Nous allons entendre la partie civile 28. Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit? Qu'elle vienne au prétoire? Mrs. Sai Kovati, could you please go and call the civil party into the courtroom? Veuillez appeler la partie civile au prétoire. The President, uh, good morning, Civil Party. Président, you have already been briefed on how to use the microphone when responding to questions posed to you by parties and the member of the bench to you. You are only to respond to any of the question when you see the red light uh, being activated on the console right before before you, otherwise your voice can never be heard or be rendered into English and French. We hope you understand this already. So when speaking, 
you should observe a pause and wait until you see the red light, then you can proceed with your response. Mr. Zawopati, what is your name? Monsieur la partie civile, comment vous appelez-vous? Response. I am M. Un. Je m'appelle M. Un. Question. Question. Do you have any other alias or other names other than M. Un? Avez-vous des pseudonymes autres que M. Un? Response. People also call Réponse. me Ip Lon in on the revolution. On également Ip Lon the president, the please la repeat revolution. their name. Le président, Response. I never used Réponse. that name again Je plus utilisé ce nom. in the revolution. I was known as Ip Lon. On Yep Lon. The president. Thank you. President. How old are you? Merci. Quel âge avez -vous? Response. I am 61 Réponse years old. Que 61 ans. Question. Question. Can you tell the court your birthplace? Où -vous né? Where were you born? Response. Réponse. Good morning, Mr. President. I uh, got a rather morning, Mr. President, and uh, your honors, I would Bonjour, like to respond as follow. I am M. Un. I was Je born in Tropen Trauk, Commune Kom Chai Mia District, Trivang Province. The President, province where do you live now? Le président. Où habitez-vous actuellement? I live Réponse. in Chuk Sa village, Don Tai commune, Ponya Krai district, dans le district de Ponya Kampong Cham province. Dans la province de Kampong Cham. Question: What do you do for a living? Question: Quel est votre métier? Response: I am a peasant. Je I do paysan. farming as well. Agriculteur. Question from the 17th Question. of April 1975 until nine, uh, the 7 of January 1979, where did you live and what did you do? R Response. Uh, Mr. President, Réponse. I may have to apologize uh, because I may uh, only be brief on this as I may have forgotten some thing concerning the events. The President, indeed, uh, you can be brief. Just tell the Chamber what you did uh, during that period and where you lived. À la chambre, ce que vous faisiez à cette époque et où vous habitiez. Response. Réponse. During this time, from the 17th Pendant of April période, 1975, à du 17 and before that, I'm sorry, I am, I was a doctor. After 1975, Avant I cela, remained a medical doctor. Médecin. I worked Après at sector 20. Encore I had uh, dans le been 20. in medical training sessions in Phnom Penh at the 7th of April Hospital. À du 7 avril. Question. What is your father's name? À du 17 avril. Question. Comment s'appelle votre père? Response. My Réponse. father's name is U Saem. Mon père Question, what Saem. about your mother's name? Question, quel est le nom de votre mère? Response, Réponse. she is Yip Sren. Elle Yip Sren. Question. Question, what is your wife's name? Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Response, Réponse. she is Sum E. Elle s'appelle Sum E. I would like to also clarify on this uh, before I was I, I was asked question I 
got married twice. I got divorced with my first wife, uh, whose name was Ong Neng, and I remarried. The previous wife was in Kampong Cham, but the current wife in the Don so, uh, Chuk so rather, Bonyakrak uh, district of Kampong Cham. Question, how many children do you have? Question, combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. Réponse. I have three children. J'ai trois enfants. The president. Le président. The legal lawyer for the civil parties. Le you may not proceed, uh, but please uh, make sure that uh, you follow internal rule. Veuillez and according to the internal rule uh, 91, civil party lawyers are allowed to put questions to Mr. M. Un before the other parties. Mr. Pek Ang. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone in the courtroom. Mr. Kim Ming Ki will be putting questions to the, uh, to the civil party, and I will also put some questions, and uh, Mr. Christine also will be putting some some questions as well, if needed. Uh, the Martino president, uh, indeed, you may now proceed. Un certain number of questions. Le président, allez-y. Council, come, main, key. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Your Honours, and good uh, morning la, la to Merci, everyone, uh, and very good morning uh, to uh, Om and Un. Bonjour à tous. Uh, bonjour, I am Kim Main Key, representing you. I belong to the avocats on, rather, the lawyers without uh, border, and I am representing you in case file 002. And before I proceed to ask you some questions, I would like to also take this opportunity to briefly tell you about your rights. Before this chamber, you have the right to be heard. You can describe the account, the events you saw, you witnessed in, uh, during the Khmer Rouge. Regime, and you also have the right to express your emotions and seek reparation. The president intervenes. Uh, Council, you may now proceed to put question to the civil party. Indeed, uh, that position could have been taken by the president of the chamber, although the president of the chamber has not yet informed the party, uh, the civil party of this, uh, but uh, it was done intentionally because uh, the chamber would not wish to uh, make uh, the civil party uh, be confused. Uh, we would like uh, to make sure that now questions concerning the substantive matters as laid out in the closing order uh, be put to the civil party. First, Council, thank you, Mr. President, for the clarification. Before Merci, this, uh, cette uh, my client asked me a very surprising question whether he should uh, take an oath or not. Uh, that's why I would uh, take that opportunity to brief him on his rights. And if I did that uh, inappropriately, I would apologize for that. Si. Mr. I am Un. In 2010, you filed an application 
Could you tell the court about your application? Why you filed it rather late? Pourquoi vous avez déposé cette requête tardivement? Mr. President, the reason that it was filed belatedly because at the beginning I did never know about this. I listened to the radio broadcast, but I did not know how my application could be found. Question. Thank you. Later on, you lodged your complaint. Plus tard, and on two occasions, you filed uh, the forms. First, on the 25th of 2010, and the second one is on the 29th of January 2010. We would like to know how you lodged this application on two occasions rather than once. Comment cela se fait-il que vous ayez déposé deux demandes et deux demandes The reason Réponse. why I filed my complaints on two occasions as follows. J'ai déposé deux plaintes pour la raison suivante. However, before I respond to any of the questions, Mais avant de I would like to also tell the court that uh, I have some sore Je throat and uh, that's why I will have also some problem concerning the clear voice in my testimony. Voilà ma voix However, whatever I will be responding will be the truth. I uh, counsel, uh, please address me as the counsel, not the, the judge. Uh, uh, response. Uh, it was belatedly submitted because first I filed a complaint concerning the veracity of the process of the court. Uh, and later on, I was en fait, asked that uh, I could file another complaint because I could be heard before the chamber. And I was not properly educated. So I wrote in my application, but my wordings uh, were uh, not uh, properly uh, put. Uh, that's why I asked the DC CAM to help uh, or the center to help me uh, filling my to fill my application form, and for that reason, it was rather late already in its filing. Question. You Question. stated in your complaint uh, already, however, I would like you to briefly recollect your history, your activities, activities. Et de Before, nous de vos after 1975, tell the court Avant where you lived, what you did. Où -vous? Que -vous? Response. Prior Réponse. to 1975, the 17th of April, I already stated in the application April, form. Je le, je now, allow me to elaborate on that. I never went to school to attend any formal education sessions. However, I wanted to learn about things. My parents were very poor, and I was, or I am the child who had to be responsible for feeding my parents. I came Et to work as a porter in Phnom Penh for that. Counsel, thank venu. you. How old were you when you came to Phnom Penh as Merci. a porter? Et quel âge aviez-vous lorsque vous êtes venu à Phnom Penh pour uh, travailler Response. comme porter? Response. 
I came to Phnom Penh as a servant. Je suis venu à Phnom Penh comme servant. I stayed with my grand uncle and I started to acquire some medical skills because Et my grand uncle was a doctor I could learn from him to become a doctor first I was asked to start treating general patients who were in patients uh, at that time question how long were you involved in the study, medical study, and how old were you back then? Response. It is difficult to remember the exact date. However, it, I can describe uh, the probable date uh, when I studied um, that medical matter. I learned uh, from my grand uncle. At that time, I was about 10 years old. Council, you may continue your question to me. Council. You said uh, you were about 10 years old, so it was perhaps in 1960s. What about in 1965? Could you tell us what you did then? Response. After acquiring some medical skill, learning on the job from my grand uncle, I was At that time, the country was in war. The Khmer Rouge À cette époque, nous étions was en temps de guerre. in control of power, or was about to take control of uh, the country, and my grand uncle was very worried, so he led me home. Était très inquiet. Il donc chez moi. My father was the leader of the Khmer Isarak. Movement. Mon père était le dirigeant du mouvement and des Khmer Issarak. He would like me to be to work as a servant to, to assist Et my grand uncle so that I could learn from him. Que However, my grand uncle who learned euh, that uh, the war was nearing and that uh, when families member were part a living in different location, we would never meet, so he si allowed me to go back home and reunite with my parents. After leaving Phnom Penh, I was back at home feeding my family and parents. Again, my father used to be the senior person in the Israq movement. And later on, the Khmer Rouge learned that I was the son of a doctor, a family who had history or who had skills in medicine. So I was asked to work for the Khmer Rouge. And later on, the Khmer Rouge noted that my skill was not good enough to put to use. And after consultation with my father, 
après avoir consulté mon I was allowed to go to training sessions in Vietnam and the, the direct order from Mr. Sao Pum, the secretary of East Zone, Council. Thank you, but I may need some clarification on the dates. You said that you attended tra training session in Vietnam with the Viet Cong. How old were you when you studied uh, medical or medicine? And how old were you when you returned to the country after the study sessions? Response. Again, I cannot be precise on how old I was back then, but I can say clearly that I was younger than 20. I studied medicine and treated patients and at the same time feeding my parents and the Khmer Rouge war was intensified and my father asked me to uh, work as a medical doctor with the Khmer Rouge. I started working as the medical doctor at uh, sector 20 under the supervision of comrade Kham. I do not know his family name. I only know him by the name of Kham. He was also the secretary of that sector. Question. When you studied medicine in Phnom Penh, did you acquire a certificate of completion after the course or not? Response. Réponse. I went to Phnom Penh on two occasions. First, I went to Phnom Penh when I was young and I learned uh, to become a medical doctor uh, learning on the job. And later on, I went to uh, attend training sessions under Khmer Rouge. After leaving Vietnam, my father and Ta Sao Pam and Ta Kham asked me to work as a medical doctor for the sector. And so far as I remember, at that time I was about 20, 21, or, 22, or 23 years old. And I'm very sorry if I can't precisely say the exact age, but that's the true story of me. Council, thank you, Mr. Subhupati. Mr. President, I have noted that it is already 12 o'clock. Should I continue putting some questions or should we observe an adjournment for lunch first? The President, thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. M. Un. Indeed, it is an appropriate moment for lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn until 1.30. Court officer is now instructed to assist the civil party during this uh, break and make sure that he is returned to the courtroom when the next session resumes. It is 1.30 p.m. indeed when he is returned. Counsel for Mr. Nunchia, you're on your feet. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, our client would like to follow this afternoon's proceedings from his holding cell. He is suffering from a headache, back pain, and a general lack of concentration, and we have prepared the waiver.
The president. The president. The chamber has noted the request uh, of Mr. Nunji through his council, in which he has Nunchia requested that he be permitted to observe the proceedings from his holding cell for the remainder of the day due to his health reasons. The chamber therefore grants such requests. Mr. Nunchi is allowed to Mr. observe Nunchi the proceedings from his holding cell for the remainder of the day, and he has expressly waived his right to directly participate in the courtroom. The chamber would like counsel for Mr. Nunchi to submit the waiver signed or given some print by Mr. Nunchi to the chamber in due course. Every booth officers are now instructed to ensure that the audiovisual link is connected to the holding cell so that Mr. Nguyen Chia can observe the proceedings from there. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Chia and Kyo Pon to their respective holding cell and have Mr. Kyo Pon return to the courtroom when the next session resumes. The court is adjourned.